friends, it's Polly from Horatio Printing. It's such a privilege and an honor to spend some time with you today. Welcome to our dream planning tutorial. I'm going to walk you through part one of dream planning this year. So our 2018 planners, we decided to do dream planning a little bit differently and we've broken them up into two completely different tutorials. This one is all about your bucket list and part two is all about personal growth. So let's get started. The mission behind Horatio Printing is really to help you unleash your inner artist and connect with your God-given purpose. I believe you were created in the image of God and therefore you're an artist. And I believe your life is the most important work of art you're ever going to create. And that's really why I created the planner. It's a canvas for you to design the life that you want to live and who you're becoming in life. So the very first thing in our planner is our bucket list in the dream planning section. And this is just a really beautiful blank page to write down your dreams. And I apologize for the noise. I do live in New York, so you might hear some honks here and there. So I wanted to give you a couple questions to ponder as you design your canvas. The first question being, what would you do if you knew you couldn't fail? That's a great question to ponder as you are bringing up these dreams. Also, think about the dreams that you had as a child. What things did you love to do? What did you love to play? I truly believe that the dreams God puts in your heart as a child are not there on accident. Another great question to ask yourself is, what would you want to create this year if you could create anything? Or if you were laying in your bed a year from now, so excited to wake up and go do that thing, what would it be? What dreams have you buried with your busyness because there's just not enough time in your schedule to do them? This is a space to write it down. You can use pins or pencils. You can um, paste in pictures from magazines. It could be like a vision board. There's no wrong way to fill this out, but you just have to start somewhere. And if you feel like you have a dream, but you're scared to write it down because it might fail or it might not come true, or you don't feel qualified, then you're exactly where you're supposed to be. God never uses the qualified. He always calls the unqualified because through the fruition of your dream coming true, he's going to be glorified. So if a dream feels daunting or too big and you don't know how it's going to happen, that's amazing. You're exactly on the right track. If you feel unqualified, you're perfectly where you're supposed to be. So make sure you're bold, you write it down, and then after you've written down and filled up this page with your dreams, you can turn over a few pages and hop into our next section, which says our top three bold dreams for 2018. And here you can write down your dreams for 2018. And after you get done with that and you know exactly what your dreams are, I encourage you to flip to the back of the planner where you can use our project pages. And we have a whole tutorial for that that takes you through project pages and how that works. So make sure you check that out as well. If you feel like you want to dream in community, I invite you to host your own dream planning party. It's free, you can get together with your friends, you guys can fill out your bucket list together and declare who you're becoming um, next year. So that's everything in our tutorial. Make sure you check out part two so you can learn about the personal growth section of our dream planning. I hope you have a wonderful day. You are so loved.